Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I want to again focus on immersive mods. Becoming immersed in the world of Skyrim is probably one of the most vital aspects of the game, and with various mods that are available, we can increase set immersion by leaps and bounds. So in this video, we will be exploring a selection of handpicked mods that will help make Skyrim a more immersive world. So let's begin. Do you still remember the cool armor from the intro of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion? Well, now you can have it in Skyrim. The Mythic Dawn Armor mod by 4th Unknown adds a completely reworked and definitely better looking armor into Skyrim. Not only do you get the standard on armor set, you also get the iconic weapons used by the Mythic Dawn cultists. Not only does this mod add a bit of nostalgia from the previous game, it also adds a bit of immersion to the last remaining Mythic Dawn cultists in Skyrim, so it ties in very well with the base game. Following that, we have a mod that might not be very underrated, however incredibly immersive. Immersive World Encounters diversifies World Encounters by adding new random events and quests which you can encounter through random exploration. This makes the game feel like it's increasingly evolving rather than just revolving around the Dragonborn and his quest to stop Alduin. A lot of the new encounters come with choices where you can choose to offer your help or not. On top of all that, this mod also modifies the random vanilla events to make them feel more immersive. It also comes with an in-game mod menu where you can enable or disable certain encounters or quests to your liking. If you haven't already, go and get this mod. The next mod came out very recently and I already feel like it fits perfectly into the game and it makes your character feel more alive. Body language animations does just that, by adding certain animations based on your character's personality traits. That means with this mod on, the people of Skyrim will let their true nature transpire and act according to their behavioral traits. By paying attention to these signs, you can get an idea of an NPC's personality, which would normally be hidden from you. The mod features different standing idle and sitting animations and they are optimized for replacing animations of female, male characters as well as NPCs and the player character itself. It further includes a customizable MCM menu and there are no scripts or plugins involved which makes this mod a very lightweight addition to your mod list. The next mod on my list is called Bandit Encounters Redux. This mod adds various bandits encounters to in the wild this makes the bandits of Skyrim feel more natural and you get a sense of danger because now you can encounter them more frequently in open areas and they do not sit around their camps all day long. The bandits will now ambush you more often on the roadside as is common amongst highwaymen. I think that this mod is a nice addition and it forces you to be a bit more careful about your surroundings which makes exploring the wilds a bit more dangerous and interesting. Following after that is a mod that I think is highly underrated which might be in part because it came out very recently. However, it does a few drastic changes to Skyrim's most boring and underutilized locations, and that are the dragon mounts within the game. This mod overhauls all 22 dragon mount locations within the game by making them more interesting and a worthwhile adventure instead of the boring vanilla ones. Each location now has way more uniqueness and it feels more dynamic and it furthermore corresponds way better with the main questline. This makes it not only more immersive, it also incentivizes you to go out and explore the dragon mounts, which makes exploring a lot more fun. Next up is a mod called Coin, which will add several new types of coins to your game at varying rarities and placed in locations that are logical and make sense within the world of the Elder Scrolls. You will never find Septims on Draugr ever again, however, that is only half of what Coin has to offer. This mod is a lightweight economy overhaul, which adds coins which you will find around the world and they will generally be worth less than a normal gold coin or septum. This makes it so that it's substantially harder to get rich quick of a few dungeons. Now gaining wealth will be a much more interesting obstacle as you progress through your playthrough. The new coins you can find on your travels range from the ancient Falma Malari to the coin called Sankar. Each of these new coins is distributed in a few predestined world spaces which makes sense according to the Elder Scrolls lore. So if you want to find these coins, you have to go through a few dungeons and world spaces to obtain said coins. Also, each of these coins is integrated in leveled lists, so they show up in containers and enemies in addition to being found loosely in the world. And the last mod on this list I want to take a look at is Voidgate. Voidgate adds a very immersive way of fast travel and transportation in general. Because now you can create a portal walk into it and you will find yourself in town for your merchant business. If you use the spell again, you can then easily return to the dungeon or wilds being a menace to monsters or bandits. Furthermore, this mod is designed to have zero menus, thus using portals is only a matter of casting a spell, not to mention you actually have to walk into the portal instead of getting teleported instantly, which adds to the immersion. And this concludes it for this video. I hope with some of these mods you can increase your immersion in your game 
With that said, I thank you very much for watching if you have made it to this point. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take care.